My name is Morton Lordson. I'm a distinguished professor of composition at the Thornton School of Music at the University of Southern California. I've been associated with this university both as a student and a faculty for now 52 years. And I'm happy to talk with you today. When I came down here, I had a brilliant teacher for my sophomore theory class named Harold Owen. Harold Owen went on to have a legendary career at the University of Oregon as a composer, as a teacher, uh, especially um, uh, enamored of counterpoint, wrote books on counterpoint, and, and I studied counterpoint and composition and theory with this man, great man, who loved teaching and, and knew the value of theory because you get into so many fundamental things that all music students need to know. And for, because of that, I was profoundly affected by his class. It was so wonderful. I have insisted upon all these years, even when I was chairing the composition department, even when I was setting up the advanced studies program in film scoring, I have insisted upon taking one portion of my teaching load for a freshman theory class. For years now, it's been freshman theory, one class, and everybody else is graduate students both in classes and in private students. I just think that uh, that's something that all universities should consider to bring in their senior people to teach part of their load for incoming freshmen because it's so important, these introductory classes. And we really smoke in that class too. We, we cover a lot of information, but I love that. So it's a philosoph philosophical thing. And I love to talk about all kinds of things because that theory class is not only chords, but it's form, it's orchestration, it does counterpoint, everything, history. I do that. And uh, then I teach uh, graduate classes and uh, individual students and try and find on my individual students the uh, special gift that that student might have and explore that. And there are lots of different ways of, of doing that. But uh, along with the teaching, I, I found years ago, now this is back in the 80s, David Raxon, who people will know as uh, the wonderful composer of film scores, basically known for those in the 40s and the 50s, Laura, Forever Amber, Separate Tables, The Redeemer, Al Capone, you go on and on. <clears throat> he taught a class in film scoring here at the University of Southern California. And it was just a, a class I met once a week and all that. And I took it from him. And I became a friend of his, too. But in the 80s, I thought that the University of Southern California School of Music should have a program for those composers wanting to go into film scoring. We didn't have one. So I set up a meeting with the dean. And I said, uh, what's, what's wrong with this uh, situation here? We're in Hollywood. We're a school of music. We're 50 feet from what is thought to be the greatest film school on the planet, the cinema school here. I said, going through as a student, a large percentage of my fellow students want to score films. Now, we don't have a program for them. It's a very competitive field. You have to know so many things in that. Everybody wants to be a film scorer, score film. We don't have a program for that. We should have a master's level postgraduate program in film scoring, a one-year program, you know, bring in 16 students or so. And the dean agreed with me and he said, set it up, which took two years out of my hide to do that, to, ran, to figure out everything, all of the classes, hire the people. So we brought in, imagine this, the inaugural group of that. Jerry Goldsmith, David Raxon, Alexander Courage, Elmer Bernstein, Bruce Broughton, Roy Pendergrass, and others. And I got Buddy Baker, who had scored films for Disney for 30 years and retired, to run to administer the program. Wow, we set that thing up and now it's so well respected. Everybody wants to, to be in this program. A recent 
student of mine, Bear McCreary, his first job after taking that program was to score Battlestar Galactica. And, he, and then the next Walking Dead, he's off. Yeah. So it's great to see Marco Beltrami, who's a veteran now. I admitted him to this program when I set it up. I have not scored films myself. I have been asked. I had a wonderful lunch many years ago with the vice president of music for Sony. Score films for us. And I said, Raul, I would, I would love to. And then where were you 30 years ago? <laughs> I said, but I, I'll tell you, one of the things that uh, it requires, film scoring, write a lot of music very quickly. And I'm, I said, I just am not, that's not my chemistry. I spend a lot of time writing stuff. I don't do that well. I also don't do well with people saying, I we want to fix that and fix that and fix that. I don't do well with that either. But I admire it so much, and I set up programs for those who do. And uh, my music has been used in films. Um, occasionally. It was a great a few years ago to get a call from Hans Zimmer saying we would like to use the opening of the Lux Eterna in the very last scene from Angels and Demons. The new Pope is introduced to the crowd and we, everyone knows this piece. They love the piece. I don't want to write something similar. Can we use the opening of that? And I said, yeah, let's do that. And a few other things. It was a thrill this last year. A beautiful documentary on the rebuilding of the World Trade Center done by a, uh, an Irish filmmaker. It was a fantastic film, focusing on the workers doing this thing, hauling the beams and all that. The very last scene in this documentary, them ra raising the last beam at the very top, all of a sudden you hear O Mani Mysterium come in. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's been used in other things too, yeah. So that's one contribution I did did make to this last thing for this school. It's run by Dan Carlin now, who's fabulous, and uh, provides an opportunity. If you're gonna score films, you wanna come here, for sure. But you have to have all your chops together. It requires a degree in composition or the equivalent. And it's a very hardball program for one year, and you learn everything about it. That's just great.